Well, hello, Midlife Love Mastery members. I'm your coach, Jonathan Asley, and I'm so excited to be doing another Facebook Live. Yes, it's a morning cup of Jonathan, and today we have our Optimize Life mug, which I'm going to take a sip from. And it's so apropos for our conversation today. So I'm just going to jump right in. The, the topic is how to meet the love of your life. And and this is going to predominantly come from a personal share. And, and please forgive the hammering in the background. Ah, what's going on here? <laughs> anyway, um, I want to say for the longest time, I denied this feeling that I would be much happier if I was in a relationship with someone, in a romantic relationship. In fact, um, I, I almost want to say it comes, it came from a very desperate, needy place. And I was raised as a hopeful romantic. Um, I don't like hopeless romantic. I like hopeful romantic. I was raised that way. I, um, it's probably part of the feminine side of who I am, if I had to really own it. but. Um, no, if I really have to own it, it's from the desperate part I am, who I am. It's from the, from the uh, codependent place of for who I am. And so outwardly, I might have said, I love myself. You know, I've got it all together. The right person will come in my life. But inwardly, I'm going to own this piece. The way I've operated for a very long time, and I've been in denial on this, is I've been desperately seeking love romantic love with a, with a partner. So that's the way I've operated for so long. And I really have made a declaration to myself. No, let me reframe that. I made a commitment to myself quite a while back. And, and this probably was, was catapulted when Connor passed away, when my son passed away, that I really do a deep dive into my own personal growth and spiritual practice. And, and spiritual practice means that practice of, of self-worth, self-confidence, self-reliance. It's just really, it's about investing in your own self and recognizing that you are the creator of your world. You are the creator of your experience. You are, you are sovereign of, in and of itself. So that's part of what a spiritual practice is all about. It's removing the blocks to love. It's returning to love. It's recognizing that ego and fear causes us to do some really stupid ass shit. Uh, it's part of our shadow. And uh, it's about taking personal responsibility for your choices and not being in victim consciousness. That's my spiritual practice. That's a lot. And, and I invest a substantial amount of time daily to that practice. So why am I sharing all this with you? Why is this so pivotal or so important to share? Is because how to meet the love of your life? Just go to your bathroom mirror. Go to your bathroom mirror. I mean, look at that mirror and, and really look at yourself because that is the love of your life. You know this to be true. You know deep down just hearing it, you're like, well, Jonathan, that's obvious. I know that to be true. But do you really believe in inside? Do you really know it? Do you feel it? And if you don't, I, I'm going to tell you, I believe it requires a, a commitment to a spiritual and personal growth practice. Because this isn't about finding romantic love with someone else. Midlife love mastery is not about finding the guy. Midlife love mastery is about finding yourself right here, right here. Love within yourself. Because all this other beautiful stuff will happen. And, and our, our work in the group is to remove all the blocks. And so sometimes I challenge you when you post, and it's to, to come back to a place of love. Because that's who you are. You are love. That's who you are. I'm a servant of love. I'm here to spread love. But I start from a place of love, and I just want to keep spreading it more and more. And that's why I shoot these videos for you every day. That's why I, I, I challenge you in the group. My, my role, my mission in life is to help you experience the love that is in the mirror. And when that happens, I can help you navigate the guy stuff. I mean, that's, that's the easy part. 
is helping you reframe things with the guy. And it all starts from within because all that other crap that happens with, with relationship is, is not coming from that centered place. And you know this, and yet you resist it, most of you. You say it outwardly because you're like me. You're in denial. Well, I'm here to say, I want you to tell me right now, you are no longer in denial of this fact. That many of you come here believing that love happen. You feel happier when you're with someone else. And that's not where it comes from. But I'd like you to own it. And if you own it, that's the first step. Because I bet secretly you're in denial of it. And if you're not, great. I'm happy for you. That's awesome. Let's get moving. Let's get moving to attracting amazing love in your life, being that love within yourself, and you'll manifest a great partner along the way. All right, you get the gist of where I'm going. I want to hear from you. I want to hear you make your declaration. If you own that you've been in denial, say it out loud like I have just done. That ego and fear has been driving the bus. And that's okay. Because and make that extra make that commitment now saying I'm going to devote to my practice, my spiritual practice of working on myself every day. And that's what I can help you with as well. That's what I do as a coach. Because you are in charge of your destiny. You are in charge of your relationship destiny. That's what I'm here to help you recognize. You are in charge of that. And if you need tweaking and help of guidance along the way, then let's schedule a call. Let's get on the phone. Let's talk and see how I can help make a difference in your life. Like I've made so many others in our group. All right. You get the gist. Post a comment. Uh, if you find value in what I share, please tell your friends about Midlife Love Mastery. Send them to my website, jonathanasley.com. Have them hit the group coaching button so they can join our group and they can get these Facebook Lives and our conversations on a daily basis. All right, I'm ready to sign off. And those who know me know that I love to give a big Jonathan bear hug to you all. If I have your consent, oh, wishing you a super duper wonderful day. Thanks so much. Bye-bye now.